Okay, welcome back. So in the last video, we created our motion path. So I've zoomed in a little bit. You can see the remnants of my motion path here. And we've got our aeroplane with the propeller spinning uh, and it's all parented up. So we now need to get the plane onto the curve and following it around. What you do need to know before we do this is that Maya needs to know how long you want the animation to take. So how long do I want it to take for my plane to get from the beginning of this curve to the end? And that's where your time slider comes in, this little chat down here. So 1 to 7.20. And I'm going to leave it like that. And that's how long the animation will take. But if I wanted it to take 100 frames, I would just drop that down to about 100 frames. And then that's how long the animation would take. So it would happen between 1 and 98 in this case. So this is where you tell it, first of all, how long you want your animation to be. And in this case, I want all 720 frames. So I need to make sure that's how I'm set up. Lovely. Okay, so the next step is to select your plane. We're then going to shift select the curve so that I've got them both selected. And now, making sure that you are in your animations menu set, you're going to go to animate. You're going to go all the way down to motion paths, and then you're going to choose attach to motion path. And you'll notice your plane disappears. Fantastic. And if we zoom out, and zoom back in over here you'll see that your plane has done what we wanted it to do and it's attached to the motion path and if we start scrubbing through you'll see that it's now following the motion path dead easy but i'm sure you've got eyes and you've realized there's a bit of a problem with this uh the plane's flying sideways no um that is to do with an error with the way that i um, modeled this plane in the first place i didn't make front face the same way but I've chosen to leave it facing the wrong direction so that I can show you how to put it right um, should it ever come up. So once you've got it following the curve, as we have, you need to just click on your aeroplane and then go into the attribute editor. And you'll now see that you've got a motion path one um, tab that you can now use to edit some of these settings. And assuming that you've gone a little bit crazy like I have, you just need to change your front axis to Z. And you can now see that although it's backwards, it is at least sort of aligned. You can see it'll fly backwards down the line. Brilliant. So the only other thing I now need to do is put a tick in the box of inverse up. And you'll now see that that is flying wonderfully. Okay, so it would have just been easy if I'd modelled front in the right direction in the first place. But we wouldn't have learned anything from that now, would we? So that there is attaching um, an aeroplane or any object to a motion path. So if I now hit play, you'll be able to see this aeroplane flies all around the curve and it's going to take the full 720 frames as we discussed um, to do so. Whee! And off it goes. Which is lovely, that's exactly what we wanted. Um, in the next video we'll have a look at how we make it well, how we get it to avoid sort of speeding up and slow it down. As you can see, it slows down towards the end. So we'll sort that out. And we'll also get it to uh, lean into the corners in the next video as well. So I will see you in the next video for that one.